That's that's the end of my TED talk. I think what ultimately came <laughs> excuse me, I think what it ultimately came down to was that Nintendo with Mario like Disney with Mickey Mouse had a brand they were trying to uphold. Yeah. It's room they had to vary it before they ultimately decided to, okay, let's bury it with Odyssey and, to a lesser extent, 3D World and New Mario U. Yeah. To his credit, though, I do really like Mario U, and I, I'm actually looking forward to getting to that one. I'm hoping he gets a Switch for it eventually. Oh, what, Mario U? Yeah, that already... That oh, Mario U. Wait, that's right, I meant 3D World. 3D World, yeah, that makes more sense. I, I think it's only a matter of time. Because, uh... Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean uh, people will appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I feel the same way about a uh, tropical freeze in the sense that it released on a system that it tropical freeze deserves, but be deserved better, and it got it just got, got its just desserts. I don't agree with the pricing, but whatever, that's a separate issue. It should have, it should have sold better on a Wii U, even though it was on the Wii U, it just didn't. Seem Sell that well to begin it's with. Sell well yeah. to Wii U. Oh, but there are plenty of games that can at least crack a million easily on the Wii U, but Tropical Freeze just did not. I think. Uh oh, you yeah. see, oh, have you seen some actual sales of the Wii U? Games? We were talking about it the other day with Lewis, and he... They are pretty bad. It's kind of. I don't. I don't. I think. I think. I think. I think at most, some only. I think it was only Mario Kart Eight, and that that hit over. A, I think it hit just over a million. Yes. Sad. Oh no, they had plenty of games that hit a million. Yeah. I know. Yeah, I think what it is, what it was, Jason, is that like it was games that at least hit a million. Oh. The Nintendo. What am I trying to say? Nintendo's own games had pretty good attack rates for the Wii U. Yeah. Except for Tropical Freeze. <laughs> I think I feel like a lot of it is. Uh, I hope this talk going to by the way. Um. Okay. Good. Um, I think a lot of it was probably, uh, Returns came out and just like, oh yeah, everyone knows Donkey Kong, uh, and like, lo it, because of that it got, I guess it got a lot of sales, and no one, well, a good chunk of people, because like, let's be, let's be fair, a lot of, uh, Wii owners were like, uh, casual gamers that didn't really, uh, weren't like crazy into this stuff, so like, I can imagine a lot of people being put off of the put off by the difficulty of the thing, and uh, not bothering with Tropical Freeze because of that, and uh, like Nintendo going out of their way to include a difficulty scaler. Yeah, I mean it doesn't. I mean it doesn't help that it was the Wii U, but still. Well, said a Metroid game would save that system. Yeah, let's be let's be fair. Uh, Metroid games like. Like, they're, they're, they're very, uh, they're a lot more niche than I think people really think, because, like, th not necessarily, like, undermining how great those games are, because they, they are great games, but they're also, there's also a niche audience for them. They don't really sell the best, <laughs> generally. Jump into like the Kirby level. Yeah. How well do Kirby games do, though? Well, they're typically released Actually, for. Except with the exception of Star Allies that are in that comes to mind, most of them are released pretty late in a system's life cycle. Yeah. They do well for what they are. I don't think Hal goes over budget with them, so. Hmm. Uh, you can definitely tell that with, um. Uh, Star Allies, at least not by release. Uh, release uh, by release. I think now. I think now. Yeah, back then, like at launch, I think it was, it felt more like forty dollars at most. Yeah, it didn't really feel like 60, 60 bucks. Now, I'll, now I think now I think it's perfectly worth the price. Yeah. I still. Of all the extra characters and all that stuff we got, that's, that's definitely, especially as a Kirby fan, that's definitely worth sixty dollars now. Yeah, I still say like as as the as far as the main game goes, it's probably the weakest of the of the Returns series, but I think it's perfectly surfaceable, surfaceable as a as a game. Yeah. 
But we also have some Nintendo that are, like, multiplayer, like, platform co-op. Yeah, I'd agree with that. The, the, um, it's basically like a, like, su is, is it like more like Superstars kind of style, in the sense of the partners and all that. Oh, hi. Hello. <laughs> I love, I love the Wigglers, so they're adorable. And so you make them mad. <laughs> yeah. Does anybody remember Don't Wake Wiggler? Oh yeah, I remember that. It's like, Rrr! jump scare. I show, I show the clip of uh, of that mini game to Azzy. <laughs> oh, he's. I, I I heard her freak out and call. <laughs> he was like, oh, it's cute. Oh god. <laughs> oh. You could exit. Oh, okay, just this. Oh. Cool. <laughs> oh. Uh, you wanna go down? Yeah. Grumpy, that tropical freeze is probably going to be the last Donkey Kong game for a good while. Uh, I, 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 I want a third Donkey Kong, uh, a Returns game. Just, just because it just, it sounds right to call it the Returns Trilogy. But it's just not. <laughs> We're gonna, like, you could, we are gonna hear stories about Retro Studios one day. Uh, I, like, I swear, like, we've been, uh, wondering what they, what game they've been making before Metroid Prime, Metroid Prime 4 for, like, ever. <laughs> no, we, we can't go back yeah. there. The, the, the vines. Yeah, the vines Mario are... Can't climb over vines for some reason. Yeah, it's, it's RNG, it's completely RNG. Pull the door of the explorer and can't just walk around the path. <laughs> if only. If only this was 3D world, we have like a 3D map thing. Whenever it's just like, why can't we just go around it? I just, I just, I did like a dumb door of the explorer comparison. Yeah. Goodness. But they can't go. Come on. They have, go, they have to go straight through it. They can't go around, they can't go through the path, or around the path, and just go back around the opposite one away. Yeah, right. Oh, man. Ah, uh, kids cartoons. Pokemon trainers are apparent refusal to climb fences. <laughs> Anything. Or, or go over gaps. Oh, I love- I love the, like, Pokemon in real life videos where it's like, a sleeping Snorlax is in the way and just like, can I just walk around it? No. <laughs> 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 like so many things in video games would be would be so much easier if you could just like if you just if you just forget of the if, if this of all walls didn't exist. Yeah, right. I think like, rationally about unless the Snorlax is perfectly like 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 wedged in there. I don't yeah. see a reason why you can't walk around it. Yeah. Unless it's like a like extreme narrow pot, uh, corridor or something, and like the only option is to like do a massive, yeah, and like the only option is like just to do a jump over it, then I guess that's fine. But oh, okay. Jump over it, Snorlax. No. Dang it. That just reminds me of how I, I see the clip of the of the Sword Shield anime where like. Mm. You see Gigantamax Snorlax become a thing, and geez, that's really, really cool. Huh, <laughs> nice. Like, you slot to see the tree grow on its stomach. Oh, nice. Speaking of, uh... <laughs> speaking of the Pokemon anime, it's really cool seeing, uh... It was really, it's really cool seeing, like, actual... Rare! Realistic, uh, evolutions. Mm -hmm. And like, uh, see, seeing like the, how like, Meropod evolves into Barfri, for instance. Like, there's an oh, actual, yeah. like, stage of evolution going on instead of just glowing white and then suddenly you're something else. Metamorphosis. <laughs> 
Like, it'd be disturbing, yeah. It's a little bit disturbing, yeah, because the Merpod shell is just probably just kind of a dead corpse. <laughs> And they hit Jason because Ash's Metapod never moved. <laughs> um, remember when it was abusive? Remember when it was saying no to him? It was like, like saying no. <laughs> oh yeah. Wasn't Metapod saying that? I was just the canopy inside shaking, <laughs> trying to have a nightmare. <laughs> Plus, you can see Metapod moving in like games and all that. So. <laughs> That was a boss. <laughs> I think he was always my favorite Google one. Mm. He's a... Hey, didn't I charge you to death last time? Mm -hmm. I think... You owe me a prescription! I think the, uh, an issue with the Koopaling fights in this game is that... Well, when you hit them once, it, you kind of just have them in a lock, really. Like, so... They d they're a lot better in uh, Mario U, uh, issue, uh, was it, that they, they actually gave the Koopalings, like, a lot of creative moves in that game, and it's not as easy to just, what, j just destroy them like that. I don't want to blow my load on, on that game now, but I do think that game has the best uh, Koopaling fights in the series. Which one again? Mario U. There's not much competition for the Koopalings. That's true, but, uh... Do you remember where Iggy had a chain chomp? Well, he has one in this game. I... I don't remember what they changed with him in U, but... Um... I know... One of them, like... Has, like, a hammer and he, like, uh... Get, he like uh, hits a uh, a um. Is it Roy? No, I think I think Roy's the one of the. Yeah, the pokies. I I think Roy's the one of the bullet bills. Uh, I think Roy's the one of the bullet bills. Um, I don't know. Maybe. I like how Wendy has the PlayStation a lot. I think Mo no, I think Morton's the one with the uh with the with the pokey. Mm. I like Wendy having the ice skates. Yeah, that's cool. But even like I like uh Koopaling fights have never been the greatest necessarily, but I do think they are legitimately great bosses in Mario Year. I'm gonna go as far as to say <laughs> I'm gonna go as far to say, like, they're probably, like, as, well, from the game, the ones I played anyway. I wanna say that they're probably the best, uh, the boss, the, the, the best bosses in, uh, a 2D Mario game. Mario U? Yeah. I was also, sadly, not saying my like, I know. I know, Mario, but... Well, Mario games and bosses, they, they, them, be, them are, like, almost non-existent. Galax, uh, I think the Galaxy games have some pretty good boss fights. Do, I'd say probably do it marginally better at least. Uh, yeah. well, yeah, like, uh, that, cause that reminds me that Odyssey is probably my favorite battle of the battle. I can understand that. Uh, I, I, I think it's one of the most, uh, challenging ones. I still need to beat Odyssey. We're, my brother and I are so close. Uh, where like, are I? It's like the final boss fight specifically, where it's just yeah. like... He's really fast. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's actually tricky a little bit. We need to have a very serious discussion on how psychotic Bowser is in the 3D games. How, uh, uh, how'd you figure? He's just angry in he those games. He always leaves the seat up. <laughs> oh god! Well, I mean, I kind of like I kind of like him in Sunshine, because I, I always saw that as a, a Bowser not wanting Junior to grow up and and not have a mother, and that's why like, well, that, and that's like. Character in the franchise. I'm 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 as fresh as I'm as fresh as garbage. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I I always saw that as like. Uh, 
I do. I, I did like like Bowser and Sunshine though because like he he does actually care for his kid. I one out of eight of them. He's the only one. Apparently, <laughs> apparently the Kooplings are just minions now. <laughs> Keep it that way. I don't want to think about where, he, where, where he's been. I think it... I guess oh, it is... Ins... I don't remember being too much of a fan of this. Um, yeah, the gimmick is like the more enemies and whatnot, the, the higher the number goes and eventually it'll stop and I think it'll end up falling, but don't quote me on that. Stops. Okay. Yeah, this is... Not much to say about it. It's basically a glorified oil scroller. I'm forgetting that once upon a time this motif was actually relevant. Mm. We didn't have four levels until the first new Super Mario Bros. Yeah. Oh god. I had, a I had dialogue, but I forgot. <laughs> oh, you got Mario. I'm gonna. I mean, I mean, you got anything else on like Mario bosses? Uh, uh shoot. Uh, cause I still I like the, like the brutals. They're fine. I mean, some of them are just not all of them, man. Some of them are just as easy as any other Mario boss, but. Mhm. Mm uh, there are some really big rabbits. Like oh! that creeped me out. Yeah. I mean that that's they're basically just rabbit cooplings, let's be fair. Yeah, I, 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 I fought a boss from Dark Souls. <laughs> that was like the but like the most like what the hell boss in that game. Oh I oh I loved it. Uh, it was great, yeah, but like <laughs> I, I, I feel you guys are dangerously veering into spoilers for me. Oh, wait, uh, I messed up. Um, screw this, just die. Dead. Uh, how far are you in the game, Scrapper? It's a mid level, I think. Hmm. I don't want to be that guy, but I think I, I think we're at a point where we're at the, 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 the spoilers, the spoiler safety wall it ha it is already torn down. But I'm about to get near it, so you can just wait a little longer. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, man. I was saying, three hits, look. Oh, have you? Okay, uh, so, just so I don't spoil this, have you finished the Wooded Kingdom? Yes. Okay. Um, one thing that was really cool that I found out: the boss of that world is actually basically a, a huge version of uh, the. The, uh, was it the forklift enemies from Mario 64? The weird, like, helicopter things? I don't even remember that. The, the ones that launch you? The ones that make you do the spin, the spin jump, yeah. That was really cool, though. I, I, like, when I figured that out, I thought oh, that was, wait, like... Cool like, Cool Mountain, yeah. I always, I thought that was, like, really cool when I found out about that. <laughs> I would say, I think, uh, I think the Galaxy games uh, have the best bosses overall, though. Um, I think, uh, I'd say they, like, in terms of, like, 64, Sunshine, and Galaxy, they just got better over time. Whereas, like, 64, they were basically just glorified enemies. Um, Sunshine... They were a lot better, but they also still repeat a lot, and they get kind of tiresome. And the galaxy. What do you think about? What, hmm? um... yeah, it was uh, it was like galaxy uh, removes a lot of re repetition, and there's like a lot of creativity with a lot of the bosses. Um, I was gonna, I was gonna say, um, how about in like a 3D world with like those? those um, with well, the bosses in that game in general, or? Um, yes, uh, we'll say yeah. Okay, um, I think I need- I like Hitsacrat, there's Motley, Bossy Um, oh! Uh -oh, no. 
God, I hate that end bit. I remember this end bit being annoying. Um, I'd say... Hmm. I'm not sure. Uh, I do like a lot. Uh, I do like a lot of the concepts of the 3D world bosses. Um, in terms of how fun they are, uh, I say like some of them. Some of them. Uh, I, I I don't want to. I'm I'm trying to say like. Um, there are some specific bosses in Sunshine that I would classify as better than the 3D World bosses, but I would say that the majority of the... F I would say the, the 3D World bosses are better than, like, most of Sunshine's bosses. Like, Gooper, Blooper, and uh, PT Piranha are pretty generic. Um, but, I don't know. I, th I think those are fun bosses. I haven't played 3D um, World in Nintendo. I can't tell you anything about 3D Land though. I don't like. Wasn't that just Boom Boom and Pom Pom? Uh, actually, from Bowser himself. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, I, yeah. Because we're shaking. Are we going to work? <clears throat> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Hans in the background, put the north. <laughs> How you doing, buddies? Oh, those aren't the bomb boys. Those are just regular bombs. Baby, 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 baby. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Oh god. I kinda like how Throwback Galaxy and Galaxy 2 is basically a sequel to that to Womp's Fortress, because they do remember you. Despite being in space. Yeah, and there's like little, uh, little, uh, things you can notice, like, the cannons already open, uh, the walls are already, like, broken. Just nice little things like that. Let's play the corner where the, star, where the power star was. Yeah, just nice little things like that that just, just make me happy. <laughs> Why do you ignore the fire flower? Because the ice flower's right here, and it's more oh. useful for this. I hate this level, by the way. <laughs> I enjoy it actually. It's not I, I, fun to watch, but it's, I, I like playing it as a kid. I guess hate is a strip. Levels, which does not say a lot. I, 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 it's, um, I guess hate is a strong word, but, uh, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I'm also, I, I, I keep in mind, keep in mind I am the, I am the guy that, like, despises, <laughs> um, auto-scrollers in general, so. You have to try really hard to make it on a scroll fun. Yeah. In yeah. that case, I would like to point you away from Mario from Yoshi's Island DS. <laughs> Trust me. There's one level in, in Yoshi's Island DS you would despise. Mm. You would probably you would I just, think you I've might, you might even hate the just hate the game for that one level. <laughs> I never hate a game for one level, but it will definitely drag it down. You ever heard of the cave that never ends? This is a song that doesn't end. Yes, it goes on and oh, on, my friend. I remember that, but don't. <laughs> okay, let's just say it, it's in the final world of Yoshi's Island DS, and it's a it's one very, very, very slow auto scroller. Mm. Oh god, that was close. <laughs> like. Imagine a, world, a level of auto scrolling as a half the speed of the raft right now. Screw that. And it's a very, very long level. Ah, uh, I hate this! No! Uh, can I- no! Why no! Can't? No! Go! Uh. I hate this. <laughs> oh, does- 
What happened there? Why didn't you just jump? What? Why didn't you just pick up the bomb and jump? Can't you? Cause like you, you can't you can't hold you. You, can't, you have to break you can't duck, you have to break the blocks above it. Oh. <laughs> okay, I thought okay, never mind. You thought you had to go for that crack, didn't you? Yes. How would you get out? Just jump, I don't know. The twin rat is still going one way. <laughs> Bloody hell. Like, you can pick up bombs, right? Yeah, you can pick up the bombs. Alright, yeah, so when you get to the end of the bit, just pick up a bomb and throw it above the blocks. Because those are destructible blocks. I, I thought you would have noticed with how different they were. I f yeah, I know. that. that I, I That's what I was trying to do. I just... It didn't occur to me to do it that way. Oh. Okay. Because uh, my idea was, my, like, my throw it... Throw it under, throw it under there, and have the blocks get destroyed, basically. I don't know. You overthought it. Whatever. I, yeah, I think you just overthought it. God, there's a lot of tiny Goombas. Hmm. Well, even Mario ran out of commentary. Track is underrated. It's fine. I like how it said to be weight on it even when they're not on it. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. This should te I like how this should technically count as two. But... My should count as one. <laughs> where's quant? It where's quant? The not quality. Hmm. Which makes no sense. Are your universe is friggin' manta rays that can fly through the air, as we'll see later. <laughs> I do like how okay, uh, the, the um, so yeah. Right <laughs> I know. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, what? Well, well, we don't know where it is. Uh, oh wait a minute, I think I know where it was. It might be, um, also, oh, when we run for the level again, I'll give you an idea where I think I saw it. It's probably one of the power, it's probably for the power block. I think I saw, like, a bunch of, like, platforms above, like, hidden under clouds. Hmm. Well, here we go again. At least we don't have to worry about those two. Yep. If you're wondering why I'm not saying anything, saying much, Outside of usual laziness, it's because, well, this is a game that's more fun to play than it is to commentate over. Yeah. Why, why do you think I'm doing this voice? I'm more so, This is basically, um, more or less, I don't want to say for, for, for formality, but, um, yeah. <laughs> I, I get, I kind of just want to get to returns. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah. we're kind of just trying to get through the, this game as fast as possible. Which, by our standards, still means really slowly, so... I, uh... Trying to get something over with, quote-unquote, just makes it worse. I'm still enjoying this, yeah, but you, in terms of, like, comments... It, sounds like you're not, it almost sounds like you're not even trying to enjoy it. <laughs> no, I, I... yeah. But, like, I, I am enjoy... I still enjoy this game, but like, in terms of, like, just commentary, like... There's only so much you can say. Like, especially after... City Mario. <laughs> well, especially after, like, I've already played the DS game, and it's like... Yeah, I don't know. Alright, I think Mario is gonna be fun. Hmm. What? Commentating over New Mario 2 is gonna be fun. Oh god. If we can record that. Alright, hold I... on to that power block. I yeah, I can record it. Yeah, because I feel. Oh god. Don't do it. Um, not too super. Oh, that's a problem. Yeah. Because um, I think it's like after this. It might be after this pl that platform. Yeah. I think, oh god. That's yeah. Correct. Yeah. There it is. Dang it. You just missed the platform too. <laughs> yeah. That's the worst part when you ju when it just misses. Yeah, new Mario Two is gonna be a hot mess. If you can record it.
No, I can. I have a 3DS uh, capture device. I mean, I, 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 my mouse are all like used to thing for something. <laughs> have, you done a test, have, you, have you done a test recording with it yet? Uh, I done done a few. Um, I might I might have to like uh, buy in. I think you showed me footage just where you land at least. Yeah, I I think I might have to like buy a new cable to get the audio better, but. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Weird audio issue, wasn't there? Yeah, it was weird audio issues. Like, it's uh, I'm just like trying to figure out how to get um, like the footage there and the audio at the same time with without having to like have the the 3ds audio play through uh, like my mic, which makes it sound really bad. <laughs> <laughs> and you toss a frozen enemy in regular water, they float. When we toss them into this water, they sink. Oh no! Dense. Dense poison. I'm gonna post something in the oh. chat quickly just for you to look at. Okay. Right, hey, look. Um, um <laughs> Yeah, I think for the sake of our audience, I I I'd advise maybe that we get our recycled Mario asset complaints done and over with in this game. <laughs> because I don't think they'd wanna hear us do go into it again in New Mario 2. <laughs> Yeah, uh, well, what, what else? Okay. Careful. A little more. A little more. Go! Yeah, it should be fine. Yep, alright, cool. Um... Don't die! Oh god! I'll try. Piranha Plant almost said no. Yeah. Um... God, I hate Piranha Plants, and this is a really bad level for the- this is a, Yeah, I- I don't- I, I don't enjoy that. <laughs> That's, uh, that's like, well, again, I'm, I didn't ah! labor this point before. Well, okay, I Mario, point. please! Mm. This... Oh, fuck this I don't labor this point before. I don't labor this point a lot, and I apologize for it, but that kind of drop... <laughs> that kind of enemy drop down is akin to Sonic Adventure 2's mech stages, and I don't like it. <laughs> I can understand that. You mission street. This is a perfectly fine. No, this is a really, actually a really great game, but it's, it's Mario. What you see is what you get. You're not. It's set out to not change the world, and that's what they succeeded at. Hmm. Did Honestly, you? I think you can have more fun at least talking about the co-op. Probably. I, mean, I was gonna say, this would probably, probably be a lot easier to commentate over if, like, Harry had, like, somebody to do the two-player thing. Yeah. Because there'd be a lot more, there'd be a lot more chaos, at least, going on for us to talk about. I guess. I, I probably wouldn't even, it'd probably just be, uh, the commentary would probably just be enough with me and whoever else. But, uh... Good forward to, like, the Star Wars Harry but as online. That's like, that, that's like, it's like a meme. That's like our meme. It's like, <laughs> is Skywalker Saga gonna have online? It's like, we're never gonna tell you. It's like, man. I just hate how they're... Huh? <laughs> well, I, I, why don't they make... I, you know what, they should make New Super Mario Bros. have online. The DS version. Because that's what they could right just now. remake it. Or we could just play New Mario 2 when that has online. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, I think it. Yeah. Actually, does that have, like, full on online, or is it, like, just kind of local? I don't know. I know it has some I kind of. I'm, some I'm kind of mode. Traveling Britain. Huh? Traveling to Britain. We're gonna do this together. <laughs> oh, man. I'm not the coin thing though, sorry, but no. I'm not doing that. I probably. The more I think about it. Hmm? Hmm? What were you gonna say? Uh, I, I was gonna say, uh, th there's like. extra coin pack stages or whatever. I probably won't even bother with those, to be quite honest. Like, you know, all these stock coins that they can lock the bonus world for this? Yeah. The thing that hurts me is is the fact of like 
the star coins are worthless until you get to the secret world. And uh, unless you want to go, like, see the hint videos or whatever. And it's... Uh, I... I, I feel like they did it a lot better in the DS game. And, uh, and, uh, New Mario 2 for that matter. Like, unlocking new, new paths and stuff, like, is, it's just inherently more interesting to me. Okay, this is... Uh, uh, I have Final Five, they're, they're, they're secondary, secondary collectibles that don't really, if they do anything before the end, the post-game, that's great, but... I think... Okay, uh, but I'm fine with like uh, like the secondary collectibles being kind of minor, uh, but I do. I guess what I'm what I'm asking for specifically is more of a gradual use for them, uh, like how I know green stars in 3D world unlock levels and stuff, and like. Constantly feel, make you feel like you're progressing, whereas unless you're going for 100%, star coins don't mean that much in this game. Which is, it's not like a deal breaker or anything, but it's just something I feel like the handheld games do, did better. But that's just me. Your favorite track from this game? Music track? Yes. Uh. Oh. Uh. Wait. What game? Let's let's make this let's make this harder. No remixes from the first game or Mario Three. Oh God. Okay. I I can't pick the Koopaling Bell theme then. Um. I, I don't know. Um. Uh, cause I, I was gonna say athletic theme. That's a good one. I might just go with the, uh, with the gen, with the uh, normal ground theme. I think that's a. I, I really like that actually. Did it roll get a remix? Think. No remixes from New Mario One though. Hmm. Yeah, I guess. I mean, just. Oh, how did that? Did it? Did it? Uh, did it? Uh, roll get a remix of uh, the ground theme? Uh, yeah. Right. Uh, no. New Super Mario was one. New Mario Wii wasn't out yet. Oh, okay. I mean, the ground theme between both games is basically the same thing. Yeah, it's just... I mean, it is slightly different in this one, but it's, like... I, I think the difference is more or less... It's basically just, uh, console instruments, basically. Mm. It's more... It's the same tune, though, more or less. Uh, Mario U is the same kind of idea, but it's a completely new track, though. Uh, there's gonna be some... This is gonna be hell to find a secret exit on. Favorite, like, 100% quote-unquote new track in this game is... Bill Team, I just like it. Uh, which track? Team. Hmm. I'd say the credit theme, but that's the medley of like a bunch of themes. That one's good, yeah. Oh, what else? I like, uh, um. Uh, what is it? The theme, I just don't know the specific name for it. There's the a song. bone. Like the bone roller coaster theme. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, I completely forgot. Um, the the uh, final the 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 Bowser fight has a really good theme. I th uh, I think. I like both of the Bowser fight themes. And the first one, but that's just a remix of the new Super Mario Brothers theme. Wait, does this only have one exit? Because I, I it doesn't look like it's gonna go anywhere else. Gonna assume not. Would check, but the map is like blacked out for me Wait. right now. Wait, how do I get to the cannon? What, what level is, is it? This one? Cause like, I don't know. I'm confused. 
<clears throat> actually. Uh, yeah, let's not do this, actually. Uh, how are we for time? Um... Oh, it's, oh god, it's three o'clock. Uh... Uh, we can try and finish this world, I suppose. Not, I don't think there's too much left. Yeah, a flag theme. Let's see this footage anymore? Huh? the screen anymore. Oh, you can't see the game? I can't. Uh, you want me to reset the thing? Oh, right. I, okay, I know, I know why that's the case. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. Should be, should be back now. Yep. I've got Ooh, nothing. Yeah, uh, Ooh, yeah, uh, those are the flying mantra right you're talking about. Oh yeah. Uh I don't have any commentary on that. Okay, well I was going to say off topic completely is because uh, like for some reason the Sonic Mania Plus like trailer was on my YouTube feed. <laughs> Nice. I was gonna say, that trailer theme is actually really good. Oh yeah. I love that beat. Oh yeah. It's really good. They, they had like so many trailers for that. Oh. Oh crap, I messed up. I think you're supposed um, to go down now. Pray at the secret. Um... Oh. Uh, do you guys have, like, any topics or anything? Because I've got nothing. <laughs> Some dreams for Nintendo in 2020. Um... Oh, uh, hmm. Don't face match. <laughs> oh god, didn't mean to throw that. The only thing, the only thing I was, the only thing I was gonna talk about was just my foot. <laughs> oh god. That's true, you need to, like, uh, get your mind off it. <laughs> so you don't think I about it. I wish I could, it hurt. Oh, okay, we're fine. Oh, maybe that's the secret exit. Maybe. Um. Anyway, I'm uh, yeah. Oh, well, well, uh, I'm suspicious about just, this. Just gonna say quick. Just gonna, just gonna say quickly. My foot's having trouble lately. Uh, then that's it. Yeah. I to hear that. Time this carefully. Go. Yes. Nice. Oh. What is so nice? <laughs> <laughs> I heard this level because this is. Probably, but this if, is I had to level if, I, if I had to take one random guess, it might be the dolphins, like from Mario uh, World. Oh, hmm. uh, I have to get you out there in case you didn't have the propeller or something. Yeah. I was just kind of a recurring element that some of the animals in Mario's universe have goggles for some reason. <laughs> yeah, they gave, uh, was it Dory I mean, goggles? I the clouds without something coming in your eyes, it hurts! Yeah, because they gave Dory, uh, uh, goggles in 64DS, I think. Dory looks like... We're just gonna see what that bottom path was, just to be sure, right? Yeah, there, there has to be some secrets in these level somewhere because that cannon's <laughs> bothering me. <laughs> it's probably it's probably gonna be just coins, but Luigi's diary hidden. <laughs> Where it went to like was it uh Paper Mario. <laughs> yeah the paper Mario Waffle Kingdom. Waffle Kingdom, yeah that's it. Oh okay. We are mate not working with me though. What? Then it's no, just what right. you, what'd what you I miss? miss playing with my Switch's Joy Cons, actual stable controllers for Nintendo systems. <laughs> yeah, it's weird how. Yes, Joy Cons. Yes. It's really weird how um 
and like easy, easily the Joy-Cons can break compared to really any other Nintendo console, or Nintendo controller I should say. We're looking at, yeah, compared to DS. Yeah. Okay, Oh wait. god, I don't like this. This is really weird. How, what, huh? What? Oh, wait. Ground pound? Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. Um, in terms of, uh, do you want to, is you going to talk about, uh, like, Nintendo wishes for this year? Um, I'm always going to say a new punch out. Um, I don't think it's going to happen this year because next level just finished Luigi's Mansion 3. But, uh, I don't know. Uh, that's always going to be on my wish list until it happens, so, yeah. Um, I'm not sure what else, though. Uh, I guess a HD, like a Metroid Prime tri- <laughs> I guess a HD Metroid Prime trilogy would be cool. Um, because I'm, I'm kind of, at this point I'm kind of done with uh, motion controls, f for, the mo for the most part. Uh, so, I, I would like to play those games with just a regular control scheme. So that would be- Huh? Metro Prime? Yeah, Metro, the Metro Prime strategy, yeah. So that, that, that would be nice to have. Not, not the best alternative, because it's the price, but the Gears always the GameCube one, if they're cheap anywhere. Yeah, but that's, that's still only one and two, though. Three's pretty cheap. He has, it's locked to the Wii, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, but you... yeah that's what I mean. I mean, I, I, like, I, I do like I the- do, I, 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 I don't own Prime 2, though. Because mm. I do like the point of controls to the Wii, but I don't really have the best setup with the, uh, with the, um, sensor bars anymore, so. Oh. Uh, it takes me back. Not always a good thing, but it takes me back. <laughs> mm. It's right, also, it's, it? it's also the case that it's probably, like, here. Uh, Keep ground pounding. What is this? Must be a thing. This is so weird. Maybe go on the other side of this. Oh, the get, get the, no, get the get the. Wait, what? Uh, what What's the bubba? Ben. I'm so confused. What? Can what? Can you go what? What? <laughs> huh? <laughs> what? Hold on. What happened? Did did I break a block and not realize? Oh no, but you did get a checkpoint. Yeah, hug that wall. What the hell did I miss? How the hell did I miss that? Oh. Throw it. Oh, oops. That's a bunch of coins. Okay, screw this level. Okay, what what's the deal with this cannon? I'm so confused. I'm looking it up. I'm looking it up. What world are we in? Uh, world five. five. Mario. I'll three. just do the one up house, whatever. World five. Ten. Ghost house. Oh, it's in a ghost house. Okay, that makes sense. Folks, we have waited like 20 minutes of your time, we are sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is what happens when you don't look up, like, uh, where the, uh, where the secrets are beforehand. No, I can see, I mentioned this, uh... Alright, um, when, when you get into the ghost house, I can give you a guide or uh, which way Okay, yeah, please do, because I don't want to be hold eh? Alright, it says here, when you have an option to jump or fall in the first room, fall, jump, jump, fall, and then head left, right. Okay, okay, do, do that again. Fall, fall, jump. Fall, jump, then Tell me when you fall, then jump. Okay, uh, okay, hold on. Uh, so it was like, fall, jump. Jump, then jump again. Okay. Fall. Yeah. Head left and head left for a fake wall. Oh god. 
Oh, okay, okay, that was simple. Um. All the way out then? Yeah, the, the sh the, this is no. Um, what were you talking about? I forgot Some now. Some dreams for Nintendo in, in 2020. Okay, uh, any of you guys wanna, wanna say what you want? I like uh, movies. <laughs> oh god! Oh, oh, they just, they just lined the oh, place okay, up. Okay, okay. Yeah, I thought that too, I got scared. Are we out? Is that it? Yeah, we're out. Yeah, that's it. Okay. It's a boo ring. Yeah! Okay. Cool, Leo. By the power of the internet, we made it. <laughs> uh, what, what kind of things are you hoping for, Scrappy? Drive to actually play more games. <laughs> uh, nah, nice. Yeah, I never would have. I never would have thought to look there because of that. Yeah, because yeah, of the way the paths are. Like in this. Yeah, I also since I'm. Hmm. Sorry, oh, we're saying Jason. Yeah, that's it. So since I'm hopefully gonna finish Odyssey soon, maybe a sequel because hmm. that's that that I think that's a formula. Ref, ref, yeah. Ref two information. If they um, can manage it, I'd like to see Breath of the Wild come out, uh, Breath of the Wild 2 come out this year, but I know that's, like, I, kn I know it's gonna be a situation of, <laughs> I know it's gonna be a situation of, hey, it's coming out this year, guys, to get to for, for, like, two years. I know that's gonna happen, be. but... They're reusing assets this time, so that shouldn't happen, but at this point, if they give a year for a Zelda game, I just add two years onto it. Yeah, pretty much. It's like inevitable at this I point. I can't be hurt anymore. Yeah. Um, I do. So the credit card actually released on time. Yeah. I I will say that it is more likely than it than it usually is because of yeah. because they are reusing assets and all that. So I I don't think it's impossible for it to come out this year, but it's still pretty unlikely. But I do want it to happen because that'll be really cool. Yeah, I wouldn't mind Odyssey 2 because I think they had some interesting ideas that they need to refine a bit more, like they did with Galaxy, Game Galaxy 2. Yeah, I, I feel like Odyssey deserves the Galaxy 2 treatment because there are so many ideas that just uh, they have like, they just haven't been able to do yet. What? Since I have actually played through most of Odyssey, I think I can at least okay, now say with quote unquote. Okay. Say with what? Since I played through most of Odyssey now, I think I can say with some quote unquote objectivity that I think I just prefer linear Mario. But that's fair. There's, there's um, there's, there's definitely they have something interesting with Odyssey. I think they can get something really great if they get our chance to refine it. I think the f the thing with Odyssey is that um, you could they were trying to like uh, strike a chord with both being li li like the linear and non-linear fans with the uh, like hidden rooms and stuff and um, and I think they did a fine enough job but um, yeah the the the, uh, the hidden rooms don't exactly shake the same uh, scratch the same itch as say like a galaxy level or whatever but I feel like for the open world style that Odyssey goes for, that was probably the best that we're gonna get with that, so I don't know. It's kind of weird. I say. Um, yeah. My brother and I stumbled into an area, uh, and it showed Peach's castle in the distance. Mm. Oh, I I oh yeah. Oh, so yeah, you, I, oh, I you think I heard the just having a Mars. Oh, you saw the portrait that led to the Yoshi house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I saw that. <laughs> yeah, that was um, really Yeah. Really, I saw that, that and I'm really like, cool. like Cool. Yeah. Seeing that, I think I just came to the conclusion that I would just rather have a Mario 64 remake another one. <laughs> that's that's that uh that awoke something in me that I didn't know existed. Oh, same, <laughs> really, because I I remember going getting to the end of Odyssey and just my 
initial reaction was basically, I wouldn't a Mario 64 remake in this kind of style, because like, <laughs> that was so cool. Like, obviously not that Mario- gonna be... Yeah. I'm sorry, what now? I was gonna say, not, not necessarily Mario Odyssey physics, because, well, like, because like, 64 will always have like, a specific style that's unique to that game. Um, but just seeing 64 in HD with, I guess, you, you can add in the DS extras if you want. Um, I, oh god, that, that would just be so cool. Settle for Mario Sunshine remake also, like we're, we're yeah. overdue for that, honestly. I thought, I, everyone thought that was going to happen with the Wii U. Like, I kind of, I would love Not a lot that. of things would happen with the Wii U. Yeah. I would love a Mario Sunshine HD, though. Because I feel like... The water! <laughs> oh, I know, the, the water's gonna be great, because, like, uh... Sunshine is actually, uh, up there as one of my favorite Mario games. So, I would love that. Just jump! You can float! <laughs> you can just... You have a propeller suit, for Pete's sake. Jeez. Don't you also love how characters can change their momentum in midair because that makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> well, it's the same logic as like being able to ju double jump. You just gotta believe. <laughs> you oh, just... mountains, I think Morton's here then. Yeah, you just end up jumping on air. You having fun there? Grace <laughs> Koopling is the greatest world. <laughs> Okay, are we stopping her then? If you want. I, I think you need- it, it's, it's- it's stupid o'clock you often see. Alright. I hate- I hate right. stupid o'clock. I feel like we did have a conversation started, uh, starting there, but, oh well. <laughs> what? What? Ah! Uh -huh. You, you do the quick save and then they boot you back to the title screen, but it's literally no penalty. Yeah. Just go back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, well, we'll see you guys. I guess we'll see you guys next time for more Sonic Unleashed. Indeed. I will say about the quick save thing. I believe, like, uh, it will. If you get a game over, it will send you back to the actual last proper save you did, but considering our life count, I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon. <laughs> Let's see how well coordinated these players are. Yeah, sure, why not? Are they more quick? God, Luigi's falling okay. behind. Hey, look at that, they're actually being patient. Yeah. Will they actually share? Oh! Nope. No. Oh, Luigi. Oh! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Luigi, no! What the hell? Well, how long is it gonna go? I don't know, I feel like it should end soon. Yeah, there we go. Okay, uh -oh. uh, we'll see you guys in the next session. Uh, <laughs> let's, uh, I'm gonna uh, actually say... Um, we should we should probably like write in the chat like the uh, the topics we ended on just so we can talk, like, start on that for next time because I feel like there's a lot of stuff we could... Uh, there's a lot more stuff we could go on from that. But... Good topic. <laughs> well, we we kind of had stuff going on by the end, but... Uh, yeah, see you guys in World 6, I guess. And pancakes.